Employees at AMNS, a steel processing plant in Calvert, are working to go above and beyond for our environment. The company is recognized by the Wildlife Habitat Council for reaching the gold standard of environmental stewardship in under three years, a process that usually takes at least four years. WKRG News 5's Caroline Carruthers shows us how it's not just about the steel at this plant. From the trees, to the plants, to the extensive wildlife that lives on the approximately 1,000 acres of undeveloped forests and wetlands on AMNS property, since 2019, the employees at the plant spearhead several projects to help them achieve this gold standard. The very best uh, level that you can get within the organization that recognizes multiple projects that you have done. They have several projects ongoing. Let's start with the most recent addition duck boxes. We have a lot of wetland habitat on site. So the environmental engineers at AMNS partner with Citronelle High School's agriculture class to help build the boxes to get the ducks and their eggs a safe home. Because I know we have sometimes we just make odd man projects for ourselves and we don't really know what to do with it. With this we have a set goal and it really helps us to get things done. In exchange we can come up and you know teach them why being involved in the environment and habitat conservation are so important. While also investing in these students by giving them employment opportunities after graduation. Not, it's not like they're just there to make and sell steel. Uh, they, they actually care about the environment and they're putting a lot of time back into it and teaching the kids about it. Another successful initiative. Now this is a pollinator garden that is replanted every single year by volunteers and employees. Now they use local plants of all different shapes and sizes like this one here. And they use local plants to attract local pollinators all the way from caterpillars all the way up to butterflies and bees and hummingbirds. Now those pollinate the rest of the surrounding areas and really help the environment as a whole. Now they just replanted this year's garden, but when it starts to bloom, it looks something like this. A few more ideas are still works in progress. Several bat boxes and even an Osprey platform were built and installed on the property, but these take a couple of years to really get established. Their goal with these projects and several others to not just use the land for their benefit, but to give back and continue to grow the Gulf Coast. Caroline Carruthers, WKRG News 5.